So this amendment merely says uh, what we didn't say in 463, and that is that they'll be afforded the opportunity. Uh, they'll be given that opportunity if they want to be in a faith-based program, that'll be considered. Uh, the offender and the judge must support that. And the cost of that program has to be less than the cost of a government program. So anytime they use a faith-based program, it's gonna save the state money. Now currently, if you, if you wanna call the Justice Cabinet and find out uh, the names of the faith-based programs, they'll tell you they don't have any. They don't know the faith-based programs. If you ask them how many have completed the program, they have no idea. Uh, the uh, Office of Drug Control Policy, they know of three programs in the state. Uh, no, and the, none of those um, is in Louisville that they know of. The, uh, the fact is we're missing a huge opportunity. Some people uh, can benefit from these programs if they just know that if they exist. One of the programs, Teen Challenge, a women's program in Louisville, uh, they have about half of their residents come from the courts. Uh, it costs the state nothing. Uh, it costs Teen Challenge $1,500 a month per person. It costs the state, it costs the families of those uh, victims nothing.